Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good morning, good afternoon, Divine Timing Tarot family. I love you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome new subscribers. We are here doing a general reading for Capricorn. This is for the third week of September 2022. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, I've already shuffled Sage paid over your cards. Let's get some overall energies here for you. What do you have? This is from the message of the mermaids. What do you have for Capricorn, God, Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit? What do you have for Capricorn? Just give me two cards. Okay, dokie. You have patience. Be patient. You are definitely doing a lot of meditating, praying. Some of you guys could be doing some yoga. And you have trust. Ooh. Trust. And then you have gentleness. And magician is at the bottom. Magic is at the bottom of the deck. So you're manifesting the things here that you want. So be patient with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Hmm. Okay. Listen to your intuition. Trust in your intuition. I see a lot of self-care here. I see you guys doing a lot of self-care, you know, loving on yourself right now, which is definitely always a good thing. I see you getting your head right. Yeah, I see you guys getting your head right. Let's see what the situation is here. What is the situation here with... Capricorn. What is the situation with Capricorn? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is the situation with Capricorn? Okay, what do we got for Capricorn? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. The Knight of Wands. You got somebody rushing in. Ooh. Somebody. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. Leo Sagittarius. They're rushing in. Somebody rushing in. Hmm. And then you got the Ten of Wands. So this is going to possibly give burden you at one point in time, but... I see you very stable right now. I see you, you know, you you on your grind. You're focused, you're stable, you, you know, you're grounded. You're focused on your coins or whatever it is that, 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 that you are investing in. Your business, I see it's very fruitful. I see you're very fruitful. Definitely listen to your intuition. You're very intuitive at this time. Hmm. Yeah, somebody tried to rush in and, and put some burdens on you, but I see you turning your back to that. Yeah, I see. You're not having that. You're not having that. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, you walked, you walked away from whoever this was that was trying to rush in and burden you. Somebody that did, don't know what they want just came at you. You know, it was, it was on a passionate level and you just ain't having that. You got the Six of Pentacles. There was possibly no equal give and take in this situation. And it was a burden. Maybe you were given more than this person was given. One more for Capricorn. Okay, so you gave me two more. So we got the Empress. Yeah, you know who you are. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. You know who you are. This is the Emperor. This could be the Empress too. You know, You know who you are. And you're not taking any more wooden nickels from nobody. I see people, 
you know, want to collaborate with you. People like what you do for work. People are willing to pay you for what it is that you do for work. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we got the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you're definitely moving on. You're definitely moving on. And there's somebody here that looks like they want to ride your coattail, Capricorn. Uh-huh. A sneaky person. Somebody got a lot of secrets. A very shady person that's trying to, you know, um, cling on to you. Watch your friends. Don't tell your friends everything. They don't need to know. Because you got some people that's just trying to ride on your coattail. Because they know that you're very abundant and you're stable. You're financially, it looks like you're financially secure too. If you're not, you're going to be. If you're not, you're going to be. So let's see. Let's, um... What is this Knight of Wands about God, Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit? Let's clarify. What is this Knight of Wands? Yeah, you're cutting things out that no longer serve you. Definitely sitting on your throne. Definitely in your elements. Definitely in your element. And that is a good thing. Y'all know we in Mercury retrograde until the first week of October. So, you're going to have people coming back, you know, shooting a shot. <laughs> Or you might shoot them. I don't know. Why is a knight of wands here? Yeah, you've been enlightened. You know who coming towards you. Your intuition is on fleet. Just trust in it. Trust in your intuition. Because some something here is being enlightened about a situation. Possibly with Leo, Sag or Aries. Don't have to be that. But it's somebody that, that's coming towards you. You know. Possibly just want a one night stand. And you ain't into that. You, you too big for that. You too big for that. Somebody that got options. Okay? And you're possibly one of their options. You're definitely not a priority to this a priority to this person. Why is the sun card here with the knight of wands? But I need yep, yeah, see the devil. You know this person is very toxic. Yeah, and you made a judgment on this individual. Yeah. Why is the ten of wands here? Yeah, you're healing from this though, the star card. <clears throat> you're definitely protected and you are protecting yourself you got boundaries you're protecting whatever it is that you're doing you're protecting it. you're not letting nobody just come in and walk over you anymore not saying that that's what y'all did but you know maybe you was in love with this person i don't know or it could could be a, a family friend i don't know what what y'all situation is but if you need a personal reading check a reading check my description box and you can definitely get it um could be dealing with an aquarius but you're getting yourself balanced and you definitely have help whoever you pray to is definitely around you protecting you why is the star card here with the you're letting burdens go you're no longer burdened because you're showing as the you you came up as a queen of pentacles who's very stable and then you showed up as the emperor or the empress so you're no longer burdened. You're sitting on your throne right now. Yeah, you're in hermit mode. You're probably like spending a lot of time by yourself, loving on you, taking care of you, getting you healthy. You know, focused on your career, which is a beautiful thing. Yes. See, because when you already know, when you get you together, guess what's coming in? Your emperor or your empress is going to follow. You ain't got to look for nothing. Just concentrate on you. Because whatever it is that you need, you're going to get it. Your gods are going to make sure of that. Because they're here with you already. Yes, they're here with you. You've definitely walked away from things that no longer serve you. You have totally turned your back. You could be just, you know, chilling with your pets. You know, I don't know. Looks like some of you guys could have pets. Maybe a cat. Somebody here love cats. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, somebody here love cats. Look, you got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Ooh wee, ooh wee. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, you got options, baby. You have options, and no, no, and you don't need to be confused. But I don't feel that you're confused. You got a, a water sign coming in. Could be a Pisces, or this is somebody that you could have been dealing with that just didn't express how they truly felt about you. Who is this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups for? Capricorn. This could have been somebody that you thought you was going to get a commitment from. Why is the four wands here? This person possibly left their options open. 
but somebody here definitely thought that you was an option and not a priority, okay? So, yeah. Why the four wands here? The king of pentacles. Ooh. You got somebody stable coming towards you. Somebody that has everything that you want, too. Like your emperor or your empress. You got the you got a power. You whoever you gonna be dealing with, you gonna y'all gonna be a power couple. Or this could just be you standing your ground. But I think this is the option that's coming in for you. I think you're gonna have you definitely going to have options. Just you know, choose wisely. Use your intuition because it's on point. Whoever's coming towards you now, you're going to be able to see right through these people, okay? Period. You can have a very, you, you're going to have two stable people coming in here towards you. Somebody that's very loving. You're going to have a person that's probably a little shy. But I see two people here that's very stable and making and wanting something long term with you. Be patient, though. You don't have to accept anything any longer, period. You don't. You definitely going to have somebody that's going to work with you. Somebody that's going to love you. Somebody's going to take care of you the way you know you deserve to be taken care of. And you're going to get everything that, that it is that you're supposed to receive. You're going to make sure of that. No, and can't nobody come in and breadcrumb you anymore. Period. Per. That's not just, it ain't going down. Who is this King of Pentacles? One more. Give me, clarify the King of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. So I don't know if this is going to be you in your head. But I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, why is the Eight of Swords here? I don't think this is you. Ooh, okay. We got the higher fun here. I definitely see something long term here. Somebody here could want a commitment with you. And maybe you're going to be in your head about it. But no need to. Don't be confused. You're very, very, very strong at this time. You know how to make decisions. You don't have to be indecisive. Because you're going to make the right decision as long as you're listening to your intuition. You're definitely being guided at this time. So don't worry about, you know, if you're going to make the wrong decision. I got the Eight of Cups here again. You're definitely going to walk away from somebody that you feel that that's very secretive. Like I said, you're going to have options and all those options are not going to be good. You're going to have to definitely use your discernment about, you know, who's coming towards you. And you're going to be fine. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups. Mmm. You walked away from somebody who who you thought maybe was your divine partner. You walked away from this individual. I got the emperor here. The em I got two emperors here. And a king of uh, pentacles and a king of cups. You gonna have options, baby. But you walked away from somebody that you thought was your divine partner. Why is the emperor here with the eight of cups? Yeah, and this person is still holding on to you. Could be for because of your finances. That's why you left them. That's why you walked away from them. This person was toxic. And this was not your emperor. Yeah. This person wants to come and apologize. Yeah, this person had you in conflict, competition, fussing, fighting, and arguing. Nah. Mm -mm. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? They want to apologize to you, though. The Five of Cups. Someone here regrets the way they treated you. They regret that they didn't give you an equal give and take. Now somebody, you know, is really digging you and you just, mm -mm, you moving on. You definitely got somebody admiring you at a distance. <clears throat> Why is the emperor here? The emperor is here twice. Okay, because this is going to be your person. Yes, it is. The two of cups. This is somebody new. This is a new energy. You guys are going to be on the same page. This is going to be mutual love. I love you, you love, and they love you. You love them. Yeah, it's going to be your two of cups. Your divine masculine, your divine feminine, because whoever you thought was, it, it was a false person. You got new here. This is somebody new. I'm telling you, 
You're going to have so many options. I'm telling you, you're going to have to call and get a reading on these people to see who they is. You know what I'm saying? Wow, I love it. Why the two of cups with the emperor? And like I told you, whoever comes to you and you know who this person is going to be, this person is going to work with you. You're not going to have to second guess anything about this person. You're going to already know. Yeah, the three of wands. Someone here is just waiting. Like I said, they could be watching you. Why is the three of wands here? Yeah, trying to make a decision. Someone here trying to make a decision about you. Why is the two of wands here with the three of wands? Yeah, somebody's coming in. Somebody definitely wants sex success with you. Because you're getting a lot of attention. And this person sees this. Don't let somebody come in. and uh, Which I know you're not. Because your intuition is really high right now. And you're being divinely guided. But I mean still keep your eyes open. And all that. Don't let somebody come in. And think they can use you. Okay. You know. Pull on your coattail. Because you got somebody. You got some people. That, that wants to be with you. Because of your success. Okay, just, you're going to have some shady people. Friends, family members, I don't know. Is somebody here, though? Keep your eyes open. Like, for real, for real. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Queen of Cups. This is you loving on you, looking all good. But you're looking at something in the past here, though, too. Don't think about the past no more. It's time to move on. You got you got so much stuff in front of you. But you're thinking about you're looking at those three, those three flowers down here, which is the past. You're not gonna allow, look, you're going you're going into new beginnings. Ace of Pentacles. Let me see. Do you got the ace of pentacles here already? Let me see. You got new coming in here. Just new. But, and like I said, whatever you're working on, keep working on it because it's definitely going to be very prosperous. Keep focusing on your career. I think Virgo, I told Virgo something like that. You could be dealing with a Virgo because there is another earth sign coming in here and a water sign. And you guys, you got the king, look, you got the king and the queen of cups here. You definitely, you guys are going to definitely be in love with each other, whoever that's coming in. You guys are definitely going to be in love with each other. I see you guys being a power couple. Don't get in this energy. Do not get in this energy. You don't have to. Yes, you're going to have to make a decision and you're strong enough to make a decision. You don't have to be indecisive about anything. If you got two people, you examine them two people and pick the best one for you. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Why is the Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Pentacles? Okay, so the Moon card. And this could be fear. You fearing, is this really going on with me? Is this, this is too good to be true? No, it's, it is. It's happening. You're getting what you deserve now. Listen to your dreams. Your intuition is on high. But maybe now you're facing, you're going to have to face some fears here. Of the things that possibly has happened to you in the past. Leave that shit in the past. Like, for real. Because, see, look at you. Like I just said. You thinking you thinking about the past and you're fearing. the moon. You're fearing that the same thing is going to happen and it's not. It's not. It's time to move forward and let that go. Take a risk. Take a risk here with somebody. Because it's going to be okay. We got the eight of eight of cups. Why is the eight of cups here? You're definitely gonna be walking away from things that don't. Yeah, you're gonna walk away from, you know, somebody that may come in that you know may you may feel that this person is confused and don't know what they want, and they just you know want to be intimate with you. Of course, you're gonna walk away from situations like that. Come on, you're gonna you're gonna still be tested. You're gonna still be tested on you know you knowing. What it, you know, so that you don't get back in the same situation. But 
You're going to walk away. You're going to know what to do. You're going to know what to do. You're going to definitely know what to do. Oh, Capricorn. Huh, you got me all hot up in here. Why is... Give me some... Give me an outcome. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Y'all got options. Be patient. You're definitely being divinely guided. Okay? You're going to have a person that's coming in here that's going to try to manipulate you. Okay? The Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So just keep your eyes open be, and, 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 and use your intuition. Yeah, the four, you got that. The four of swords and the eight of wands. You're going to get some communication, some shady ass communication. I told you, you're going to have some, you're going to have some people coming in that's going to want to ride your coattail. Okay. So, you know, just keep your mind and eyes open. There's some quick, fast communication coming in, but you're going to move quickly away from that person. Like. For real, for real. You're going to move quickly away. Like, that's just what it is. Okay, so, Cancer, Capricorn. Okay, y'all could be dealing with a Cancer. Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope that you understood what was going on here. Like I said, some of you guys are going to need a personal reading because y'all going to have people coming at you left and the right. Like, for real. I mean, you, you're going to be like, whoa, 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 you know? But if you listen to your intuition and trust in yourself, you're going to be just fine. You're going to have all kinds of people coming towards you. And everybody is not going to be good. But I see two good ones here. And you're going to have to see, see, you know, what it is. All right. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, please, y'all, hit that like button. Hit the like button. Come on, y'all. It don't cost you nothing to hit that like button. If you're looking at this video, you see that I'm giving the love. So show me some love too, okay? Alrighty, bye.